that's that all the wins. Shout out to the Raiders, man, we about to win. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Sport. Today's show, five reasons why the Oakland Raiders are guaranteed to beat the New York Jets. That one, you can book it for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. So I'm going to go in depth. I'm going to give you my five reasons on why I think the Raiders are going to not only beat the Jets, but I think we're actually going to whoop on them pretty bad this week. So if you want to get your score predictions in, now it's time to do it. Predict the score. Raiders at the Jets in New Jersey because the Jets don't even play in New York. So the spread on this one, according to Betty Asai, the Raiders, they are three-point favorites. The over-under is 47. I'm going to take the Raiders to cover the spread in this game. I think the Jets, people are like, oh, they're on a two-game winning streak. Yeah, well, they've played nobody. Go back and look. at This team lost to the Dolphins. No, we're okay. So they're going to cover the spread, minus three. The over-under this one is 47. I do think that the over, I'm going to take in this. So if you guys disagree with me, let me know. Some uh, score predictions there. So I'm seeing Madman Raiders says 17 to 14. We'll let these comments flow in here. 31-17 from Keith. Get a picture. Corrupt says, are you going to the Raiders versus Jacks games December 15th? Yes, yes I am. 31-14 from Hernandez. 38-10 from Dwayne. Uh, Gwabe says, I'm single. Something we have in common. So continue to get your predictions in. Raiders at the Jets. Because this game is a big game for the Oakland Raiders. Why? They are the seven seed when you look at the AFC playoff picture. Now the Jets, they don't have a chance, right? They got the 14th seed. But this Jets team has been playing a little bit better. They did win two straight games. Sam Darnold played pretty well this past week. But it was also against the Washington Redskins. And, well, everyone kind of looks good against the Washington Redskins. Now, I'm telling you all to go bet on the Raiders to cover the spread. And I would actually take the over in this game on BetDSI. You guys can see the link below. It's chatsports.com slash bet. But when you go to BetDSI, take advantage of the deal. Use promo code Raiders120. It gets you 120% deposit bonus all right who's ready type me for the why i'm telling you the raiders are guaranteed to beat the jets you ready well first reason <laughs> the raiders they beat bad teams the jets are a bad team at three and seven i don't care that the jets just won two games you beat the redskins 34 17 congratulations you're great so this is what the raiders have done against teams that are su sub 500 I'm not good at math, but 5-0 seems pretty good to me, right? So week one, we beat the Broncos, 24-16. Week five versus the Bears, we won that one, 24-21. Week nine up against the Detroit Lions, which I was at, 31-24 win. Week 10 versus the Chargers, 26-24. And then week 11, 17-10. I don't know if all y'all throw your predictions in there for scores, but maybe somebody should be scoring 24 points because of the fact that one team has scored at least 24 points and four out of five, watch this math, 80% of games, that's pretty good. So how many points will the Raiders beat the Jets by? Throw it in the comments section below. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, I want you to throw in the comments section, how many points will the Raiders beat the Jets by? Not will the Raiders win, how many points will the Raiders beat the Jets by? Next reason why the Raiders are guaranteed to beat the Jets. The Jets are bad versus quarterbacks. So if y'all have Derek Carr in fantasy or you want a sneaky play on FanDuel, Derek Carr is a player to consider. Now, you know, the Jets, they looked okay this past week against Dwayne Haskins, but who hasn't looked good against Dwayne Haskins? Why don't we look at the three weeks before the Washington Redskins? Daniel Jones, wow, 308 yards. Four touchdowns, zero interceptions. Yeah, Danny Dimes was dropping some dimes on the Jets, but who hasn't? Oh, wait, what about this guy? He used to play for the Jets. Ryan Fitzpatrick. I feel like any time you talk about Ryan Fitzpatrick, or at least people do on the media, they say, guess what? He went to Harvard. And according to those numbers, I don't need to be a Harvard grad. They're pretty good. 288 yards, three touchdowns. But wait, there's more. Gardner Minshew who is not even a starting quarterback in the NFL right now. Three touchdowns, 279 yards, week eight versus the Jets. So week eight, Gardner balls out. Week nine, Fitzpatrick balling out. Week 10, Danny Dimes balls out. So you know what's going to happen in week 12? Derek Carr is going to have himself a game. So this is what Derek has done the last four weeks. 
Week 8 against Houston, which we should have won. We got robbed. 285 yards, three touchdowns. Week 9 versus the Lions. 289 yards, two touchdowns. The Chargers, 218, one touchdown. And this past week against the Bengals, 292. Now, somebody asked me earlier, is he going to throw for 360? I don't know. But... You guys can let me know how many passing yards for Derek Carr this week. He is yet to throw for over 300 yards. Is it going to happen? Is it finally going to happen where Derek throws for over 300 yards in this game? So I'm going to give some shout-outs to some of the people who are watching. How many passing yards for Derek Carr? So Keith says 330. Seth says 317. 482 from Much Pair. You hear that, Rich? 482. That's a lot of yards. 315. Uh, Freedom Gaming says 327, 322 from Lil Slug, 476 from SLS Gaming Network, 299 for get a picture. Keep those comments flowing in. Sin says, where's your dad? The only way my dad's coming on the show is if you guys type happy birthday because today's his birthday. Oh, wow. Richard Garcia says 600. That's a lot of passing yards. Let's go to the next reason why the Oakland Raiders are guaranteed to beat the New York Jets. Somebody said 420. Let's see what you're doing. The Raiders' wide receivers, okay, are better than the Jets' secondary. The Jets' secondary has a player in Jamal Adams who I would actually argue is probably one of the best defensive young players in the entire league. In fact, it's the reason why he had over 100 tackles last year. However, our wide receivers are going to match up very, very well against their secondary. So we had Tyrell Williams. People always ask me, Mitch, can you get Zay Jones in a Raiders jersey? Blame it on NFL.com. Don't blame it on me. Hunter Renfro continues to show his growth as a receiver. I'll be honest, Hunter kind of scared me earlier in the year, but has really kind of gotten into his own. Now, Dwayne Harris just got put on IR, but Trevor Davis has still been solid in special teams. But Tyrell Williams, Zay Jones, Hunter Renfro, and yes, Darren Waller is not a wide receiver, but he's basically athletic enough to be one. So this is what the Jets defense has given up. Two wide receivers the last four weeks. So in the last four weeks, wide receivers against the Jets defense have been targeted 92 times. 92. Caught the ball 56 for 752 yards and 10 touchdowns. So if y'all want a sneaky play on FanDuel, maybe go out and start playing some wide receivers on the Raiders because the Jets right now have been bottom three over the last four weeks against wide receivers. Now, those numbers are maybe hard to bring in. So let's look at it on a per-game basis. So, wide receivers being targeted against the Jets 23 times on average last four weeks. Brought in 14 catches for 188 yards and 2.5 touchdowns. I'll take the over in that. I think the Raiders are going to have at least three touchdowns in this game to a wide receiver. So, here's the question that I'm going to ask everyone who's watching us live right now. We're going to let these flow in here, okay? So most receiving yards versus the Jets this week. I want you to type A for Darren Waller. I want you to type B for Tyrell Williams. I want you to type C for Hunter Renfro. And I want you to type D for Zay Jones. Now let's get some of those flowing in. I'm going to give some shout outs here. So Jerome says A. Much Pear says D. Victor Castillo is going to go with B. Hernandez James says A. Cesar says B. Get a picture says A. Andy Salazar says D. Seeing some D's from Sam as well. Nice. Uh, Extreme PC character says B. Jose Moda says A. I'm seeing AC. Maybe you just live in Atlantic City. Brian Brown's got the right answer. A, B, C, and D, man. Like, you can't miss on that one. So continue to get these flowing in here. Who's going to lead the Raiders in receiving yards versus the Jets? Darren Waller, Tyra Williams, Hunter Renfro, or Zay Jones? Now, the answer to the reason why I love the A, B, C, and D, that means the Raiders are going to have a great game. And I've already bet on the Raiders to cover the spread against the Jets, which is a three-point spread, by the way. I'm Bet DSI, and y'all should too. So who here likes betting on the Raiders? Who here likes betting on NFL games? Who here likes free money? If you don't say me to that, I'm really going to question what you're doing with your life. Now, luckily for y'all, BetDSI has hooked us up here at the Raiders Report with the best deal on the internet. 120% deposit bonus. If you put down $100, you're going to get $120 for free. The way that you get this deal, 
Chatsports.com slash bet. I'll say it again. Chatsports.com slash bet. Derek Graham says, me, 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 me. But you got to use that promo code Raiders120. Shout out to Bet DSI. If we're going to stop with the best deal out there. Let's go now to my number four reason. The Jets running game. It's, uh, it stinks right now. It's uh, not fun to watch. They're getting absolutely blown up in the trenches. Teams are just stacking the box, daring Sam Darnold to go up and try to beat them. But do you remember this guy? A player that we talked about on the Raiders report at great, great length. Le'Veon Bell. Should the Raiders sign, trade for Le'Veon Bell? I know a bunch of y'all said yes, and I think Le'Veon Bell is a good running back. These numbers, however, not very good. 161 carries, 508 yards, 3.2 yards per carry. That's not good. And then three touchdowns. But wait, Mitch, you know, he also catches the ball. Okay. Okay. 46 catches, 309 yards, 6.7 yards per catch, and a touchdown. Now, I'm not going to blame it all on Le'Veon Bell. But I will say that I think this is a prime example of Le'Veon Bell was getting helped out with the Pittsburgh Steelers because their offensive line was great. Because they have great players around them. I'm not going to mention his name. But Le'Veon Bell now has to go and do everything for this New York Jets team. And I know Adam Gase regrets it. And I think the entire Jets organization is regretting paying Le'Veon Bell $52 million. So how many rushing yards for Le'Veon this week? Throw it in the comments section below. So the cool part about here, about this show, is uh, if it wasn't for y'all, it I, I wouldn't even have a show, right? So how many yards for Le'Veon Bell this week? Armando says 50. Somebody said we don't need him. You're damn right. Somebody said three from Extreme PC. Silverwind says 78. JD Brown says 12. Jerome Gearhart, 69. Nice. 93. Uh, Terrell B says 23. Seen some 54s minus 420. Okay, shout out to you. Uh, Tommy, see the laughing face. Minus 24. 54. 72. 52. I'll tell you what. If anybody predicts negative rushing yards and he has the exact number of negative rushing yards, I'll Venmo you five bucks because that would be hella, hell impressive. So 84 total yards. Bell's going to have 73. Continue to let me know in the comments below. So last reason, Jets head coach Adam Gase. I think Adam Gase is one of the worst head coaches in the entire league. And I think he's the only reason why he gets hired is because he had one really good year in Denver with Peyton Manning. And like... <laughs> you put me in a random, some shorts, jean shorts, jacket. I don't care what it is. You could put me with Peyton Manning. Guess what? I'm going to look pretty good, right? It's the whole reason why I think Phil Jackson is a little bit overrated. But I won't get into that with some of you guys. So this is what Adam Gase's win-loss record is as a head coach. 2016, he was 10-6 and six with the Dolphins. Mitch, that's good. All right, he inherited that team. Let's now look at 2017. He was 6-10. and 10. Okay, not very good. 2018. He was 7-9 and nine with the Dolphins. Okay, maybe it was just the Dolphins, right? Maybe it was just Dolphins. Let's go to the Jets. He's 3-7 and seven this year, and his press conference where he's, like, looking all around the world, he looks absolutely lost, and I think the Jets are absolutely lost for signing this dude because uh, he is not a good head coach. And his overall record, I don't really like to point the finger at just head coaches because players matter too, but he's 26-32. and 32. And if you watch Adam Gase, if you listen to players talk about Adam Gase, he is not a good head coach. You know who is a good head coach? Our head coach. And if you watched my rumors segment, I said that he has two Chucky head chance of winning coach of the year. When you consider everything that John Gruden has done for this team, John Gruden is so much better than Adam Gase. And if y'all agree with me, knock on wood if you're with me. So this is the week 12 game. Okay, on Bet DSI, the Raiders record is six and four. They are the seventh seed in this in the AFC. So the Jets, though, the over-under in this game is 47. I've already told y'all to go to bet DSI and bet on the Oakland Raiders to win this football game. Now, you can see the link below. It's chatsports.com slash bet. The promo code is Raiders120. The Oakland Raiders need to be able to win this football game. And when I think about everything that's gone on, the Raiders will win this football game. And it's a reason why I have given you five reasons why the Oakland Raiders are guaranteed to win this game, okay? The Oakland Raiders, I'm telling y'all right now, are guaranteed to go get this game. And uh, if y'all want to meet my dad, I want you to type some dads in the comment section. Why don't you uh, go get this? Go get that. Pick that one up. Bring it. Yeah, you're good. 
So, let me know in the comment section if y'all want to meet my dad. Type dad in the comment section. And I'm telling y'all right now, the Oakland Raiders are guaranteed to beat the New York Jets. If you guys want to predict the score, go ahead and do that. Seeing a lot of dads, though, in the comment section. So, let me loop you back in on the five reasons why the Oakland Raiders are guaranteed to beat the New York Jets. One, the Raiders... They beat bad teams. They are 5-0 against teams with a sub-500 record, as I see somebody type mom. The Jets, they're bad versus quarterbacks. The Oakland Raiders wide receivers are better than the Jets' secondary. Well, I think we can all agree. The Jets' running game, it absolutely stinks. Le'Veon Bell has not been good this year. And the Raiders, they're going to beat up this team on the defensive line of the football. And then the last reason, the Jets' head coach, Adam Gase, he's not good. John Gruden is a lot lot better continue to throw in those comments below on what you think the score prediction is and if you want to meet my dad continue to throw dad in the comment section below raider nation i love y'all and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do youtube.com slash raiders report raider nation what's going on is this the number one raiders channel on youtube for chucky heads believe it baby and if you haven't already subscribe right here i'm giving you chucky heads news Rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.